Today we're going to be talking about decoy spreads and decoy placements. There's been a lot of discussion on the videos going on about the best way to set up decoys. So I thought it would be good just to kind of go over some of the basics, how we do things and some things that we could improve on. But first, We've had hats made and those are going to go on sale soon. So if that's something that you're interested in, you might comment below just so that we can kind of gauge interest, but we're going to be opening up an online store in the near future. Also, if you're a first time viewer, um, head over to the main page and check out the playlist on this channel. You're going to find mostly duck hunting videos, but also during the off season, there's some fishing videos and just some other wildlife adventures in Kansas mixed in there. So let's go ahead and get started with the decoy um, spreads and placements. I'm going to show you a few charts and I'm going to start off with some of the more traditional um, decoy spreads that are more commonly used. And at the end, I'm going to show you a couple of different spreads that you might try. Um, I did have a comment where someone was saying that ducks might get kind of shy from jays because they see so many of them up and down the flyway. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I kind of feel like if you have your decoy set out spaced properly, you've got motion in your decoys and you're really concealed, whether it's a J or O or U or just spread out with a kill hole, I think you'll kill ducks. So I'm not sure, but I sure would like to hear what you guys have to say about that. So let's just start with kind of a real basic type of decoy spread. Here is just your uh, a U or a J, and you'll see the blind on the bottom side. I, I'd say this is most typically um, what you'll see from hunters. This is your very standard basic decoy setup. Here's another one, um, kind of similar to, this is often referred to as a fish hook or a J. Now the thing I want to point out about this decoy spread that was kind of an eye opener to me is if you look, they've got the end of their decoy spread at about 90 yards. And um, we never spread our decoys out that far. That's one thing I really want to try in this upcoming year is really push the decoys out farther and trust your decoy spread so that the ducks will land in the landing zone. Um, here's another one. This is kind of just a basic U and they've got their decoys set up at about 60 yards at the farthest. Now I would say on this spread, if they could get their boat blind on the bottom side to where the wind is coming from left to right, that would probably be a better decision on their part. Reason being, if you've got your landing zone where the ducks are flying straight into you, you have to have even better concealment for them not to see you because they're coming right in and they're looking, looking at you right in the face. If all at all possible, have a side shot instead of straight into your face just for concealment issues. Um, now let's move on to a couple of spreads that might be a little less traditional. Here, here's a picture of a reservoir spread and you can see that it's just, it's not a J, it's not, a, it's a little bit of a U, but the majority of the decoys are set off to um, the back side of, of their blind and they've got different species, in this case canvas back, sitting straight away and off by themselves. So I, I like that one. Um, here, here's another one that is a little less typical. And I noticed in this picture that they have all the different species sitting with each other. And this is something I've never quite understood whether when you're using various types of species, whether you, whether you want to mix them all in together or keep them in separate pair or separate groups of species. And after reading on the, on the internet, I had old phone, let's do a little research for us. And he found that the majority of what people are saying is you keep the individual species together. So you might have the green winged teal up close and in the shallows. You might have the divers all together, clear out towards the middle, and then the mallards together, pintails together. So I would really like to see what you guys' thoughts are on that. Whether do you just mix all the species together or do you keep them paired? Now here's now, I think that this last picture I'm going to show is another really great example of kind of a non-traditional decoy spread where really as long as you have your kill zone in the proper spacing so that you have good quality shots. You know, it really doesn't matter whether it's a J or a hook or a U. You know, you can spread them out. Just keep your kill zones right where you want them. And if your decoy spreads aren't working, just be prepared to get out there and move them around. And there's been many times in which we have had uh, ducks not quite doing what we wanted them to do. We go out and position our decoys a little bit different and all of a sudden the ducks are doing right what we wanted them to do. 
So anyway, I hope that that was helpful to, to those of you that are just starting in duck hunting. And if you're veterans, maybe it was still a little helpful, just get you really thinking about what you're doing. I know decoy placement is something that uh, Fumbles and I have been talking a lot about over the last three or four days. And we're certainly gonna try to implement some new strategies this year. And the number one strategy that I wanna implement is spacing the decoys way out with the kill zone in close. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, if you're not a subscriber, make sure and do that. If you are, you might hop over and look at some of the playlists and, and we've got duck hunting season coming up real soon. And I know this time of year, I always start watching some more YouTube videos on duck hunting because I think we're all ready to go and get at it. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. And again, if you're interested in a hat, let me know and I'll certainly make a video and tell you when those hats are on sale. So until next time.